Hey, what up, babes? Welcome back. It's Barb City, where it be hella mother effing litty. Let's get into it. Before we do, as always, remember when in doubt, you better pull that mother effing blunt out. Thank you to everybody that continues to go on over to Facebook and follow Barb City there. You're very much appreciated. We are on Twitter and Instagram as well. Do not follow my Twitter in pasta. Make sure you are following The Real Barb City. Now, our first topic is going to be about Saweetie. Saweetie was doing a performance, you guys, and something broke out in her crowd, and she stopped the show to make sure that everybody was safe. And when she did that, it seems like her crowd got crazy. But anyways, they ruined her show. Check it out. Now, it really sucks that it got like this and her show was ruined at the same time. You know, I give Saweetie her tens for stopping her show, unlike others, to make sure that her fans were safe. Clock it. Clock it. With that being said, you guys, let's go on ahead and get into our next topic, which is going to be Sexy Red. So, Sexy Red shared some photos of her hair, right? And people were saying that she was wearing tracks. Sexy Red did not appreciate that, and she responded more than once. And one of those times, she ended up upsetting the internet. So... With that being said, you guys, here are the photos that she posted, right? I think she posted them to her story. I'm not really sure, but people were looking at the top saying that she had tracks in, saying things like, it's looking like short leave out on a quick weave if you ask me, but I don't sh about that. Basically saying, I don't know nothing about that, I guess. Another person said, it's giving quick weave if I'm being honest. Well, Sexy Red, like I said, was not feeling that. And here is what she had to say. Hope on. Your shit, bitch. Fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. <laughs> now get the middle, because they all they said things. It was a track right there. They said it was a they track. They said it was a track? They said I got track. They said it was a track? They said I got track. Where? I don't know. I'm gonna split it through the side. I'm trying to see. Wait. What tracks? What tapings? I'm trying to see where. What tracks? What tapings? What tracks? What tapings, baby? I'm trying to see where the tracks at. Where? I don't know. I'm trying to find it. I don't you know where it's. I'm, I'm trying to find it. Hold on. A thousand dollars for the first person to find a track. Hold on. Wait. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. She also said this. <sighs> You just record everything. <laughs> Cause these hoes said I got tracks where bitch. Tracks where by he have. Now, first of all, um, I want to give Sexy Red her mother F and tens for taking care of her hair the way that she does because clearly she had some haters, chat. Just, just, just give a bitch her her roses though. I mean, you know I love just you, give man. a bitch her roses. Like you know, what I'm saying I did. Now I do have a lot that I want to say about this topic because Sexy Red, like I said, did end up saying something else that's gonna have a different opinion. But as far as this right here, it is you know very disgusting for people to still live in 1910 where they believe that black women are not able to have beautiful hair, okay? Like all of us have short hair as if we, you know, wear weave one day and that means that we're bald. You get what I'm saying? So I do feel like that's a horrible way to think. And unfortunately, that's how society has made everybody, you know, 
basically conditioned everybody to think about black women. If we wear weave, we don't have hair. You see what I'm saying? There's no way that the hair on our head could actually be beautiful. Now, Sexy Red did end up saying something else. She said, I F with people with carpet hair. They cool. But if you talking, sh I'm going to call you carpet hair. Nothing against my fellow 4C hoochies. Now, my feeling about this is, like I said, Black women have already been put down so much when it comes to their hair. You know, being called nappy, being called ugly, being called dirty, and all kinds of things. It is upsetting to see another Black woman um, talk down on women with 4C hair. You see what I'm saying? And I don't know, to call it carpet hair, I'm just like, as a Black woman, I did find it very, very disrespectful. And I don't even have what she would call carpet hair. But here were some of the comments. This is weird as F to say, especially when you have 4C hair. Now, that was funny when I first read it, child, because we all seen the video. We all seen the video. Another person said, this is weird, sexy. Let's not do that. 4C is definitely not carpet hair. And another person said, this is what Black girls have to look up to. And I felt that comment because I'm raising little Black princesses right and they already have to be put down by society and you know people that they're going to meet throughout life and things like that they don't need other black women also putting down their hair type there's so many young black girls that don't know how to manage their hair that are very insecure about their hair so for sexy red to be doing this knowing that most of her fans are young girls. It was very disappointing. But at the same time, y'all was hating on her first. Anyway, let's go on ahead and move forward into Young Miami. So, Young Miami and Saucy Santana was at a five-star hotel. And Young Miami felt like people kept looking at her as if they were not supposed to be there. Check this out. Ready to go. Y'all ready to go upstairs? <laughs> no, we got to dive in. Yes, we do. We got to dive in. Look, she's keep looking at me. Look. Hi. Hi. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Look, she's keep looking at me. 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 Look, she's because like we don't supposed to be here, huh? Who? Oh, yeah. You guys, no lie. I would have did the same thing. When people be staring at me, I can't help myself. I'd be like, hi, like, hi, how can I help you? You know what I'm saying? Anyways, here were some of those comments. Let's not act like this isn't a real thing. They don't like or expect for us to have anything they probably kept looking because they recognized her from Diddy, LOL. Another person said, before y'all start hating, they do play shocked when they see us affording what's supposed to be off limits. And I agree with this, you guys. I drive a Land Rover and every time I get in and out of my car, people be looking at me like, how can she afford that car? There's no way that she can afford to keep that car running. I also live in, you know, Golden, Ooh, I won't say too much, but I live in Golden, which is the foothills of where I'm at, right? And it's just a neighborhood that's real uppity. So when I go grocery shopping, they be looking at me like, what is that girl doing in here? She doesn't belong here. So I do agree with that. Another person said, why I feel like they was probably staring at Santana. <laughs> <laughs> and just one more comment they'd be so surprised to see black folks in certain spaces like darn thought they created sufficient barriers i actually agree with this as well because where i'm at it's like this area is for the Mexicans. You got the blacks over here, the whites over here. And you could tell it's like 
the white area is really nice. Like they always hook it up. They got the best stores The everything looks nice. And then you go so on and so forth. We're not going to get too far into that. But like I said, I definitely agree. And that's why when I moved to Golden, I could tell people were looking at me like, do they live out here? Are they just visiting out here? Because this is a little weird. Anyways, you guys, let's go on ahead and add some razzle mother effing dazzle to this video and get into the queen of rap, Nicki Minaj. So I want to get into some of her stats. You guys know one thing Barb City will never do is go back and forth online with a dud. I cannot wait to be able to talk about that horses flop tour but I gotta wait until after the blackout. So instead, we are going to run the Queen's tour stats and more. So let's go on ahead and do it. Tour data tweeted Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday 2 extends its record as the highest grossing and best selling tour by a female rapper in history with 81.8 million from 567,000 tickets sold in its first 45 shows. Billboard said Nicki Minaj's Peak Friday 2 World Tour is already the highest grossing rap tour for a woman and it's not even over yet. Nicki Minaj's Peak Friday 2 World Tour scores the highest grossing hip hop tour of 2024 so far according to Pulse Star mid-year report. So again, this is mid-year. The tour is not even over. Nicki Minaj is now the most streamed female rapper on Spotify in 2024 with over 2.2 billion streams across all credits. Congratulations to the queen of rap, Nicki mother effing Minaj, okay? Nicki Minaj was number, excuse me, Nicki Minaj was the number one most streamed female rapper on Spotify in 2023 with over 5.1 billion streams. Nicki Minaj has now sold over 1 million total album units in the U.S. in 2024. She becomes the first female rapper to reach this milestone. So again, when you're talking about Nicki Minaj, I definitely don't want to hear washed up, baby. I definitely don't. Because the queen is out here still queening, okay? She's out here still winning. And that's because the barbs will forever be mother effing barbing until the queen tells us otherwise. So, um, Nicki Minaj, plus she chimed in on all of this, y'all see how Barb City blooper rolls get to rolling during the end. It'd be time to go, chill. Anyways, Nicki Minaj did chime in on all of this because she knows she is that B, right? And she said to all the other girls that are on tour right now, just deciding to go on tour after she decided to go on tour, she said, post a tour stat, something they're unable to do, but as you guys can see, every single time I get into Nicki Minaj's tour stats, she is always out here making history. Let's be very effing clear. So if you've heard anything else about her album and her tour, besides Nicki Minaj is making history with that mother ass, they lying to you, okay? She also said, hi, so let's get into this right now. I'm that B. That's number one. Number two, revisit number one. If it means you got to revisit that 500 times a day, do it before you ever think about playing on my bumba clock head top child. Do you understand? Before you ever come for the queen, because she is still out here mother effing doing her thing. And with that being said, I love you guys so much.